The Hot 96 News now. We met Chebukati over delays in presidential election security council says low turnout has been witnessed in Mombasa and Kakamega gubernatorial elections. Kills erupt at Kiamuni secondary school polling station in Nakuru. With Herman Kamareki. A uh, very good afternoon. We begin uh, from matters to do with the Supreme Court uh, where the National Security Advisory Council has filed an affidavit in response to IBC Chairman of Fulichi Bukati's response filed last week. This comes as the Supreme Court is set to hear the case from Wednesday with a pre-trial set for tomorrow at 11 a.m. Our very own reporter Ayub Abdi Kadur has this in details. Affidavit by the three commissioners of the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission IBC, the chairperson of Fulichi Bukati. Party, Commissioners Professor Abdi Yaqub Gulie and Boyamolo, who cited members of the National Security Advisory Committee, and today they did um, file a replying affidavit, and that is by Joseph Kenyua, who said, and uh, allow me to say this, that I am the head of the public service, and I also serve as the chairperson of the National Security Advisory Committee (NSSC), which is mandated according to this affidavit to advise on matters of national security, and I'm conversant with matters dependent here in duly authorized. And therefore competent to swear this affidavit and this tells you about the nature of the responses and the counter responses between the IBC which is the first respondent in the main petition by Raila Odinga and Martha Karua and then the commissioners therein were Fulichi Chebukati, Professor Abdi Yaqub Gulie and Boya Molo who had cited the National Security Advisory Committee members who they said came to the bombers of Kenya the national tallying center of the IBC hours before the declaration of the presidential outcome on the 15th of August by the chairperson of the commission and here then it shows you the extent with which this will be uh, subject to a uh, further a look by the supreme court when it uh, will start hearing the presidential election petition 2022 on wednesday because tomorrow on tuesday will be the pre trial conference setting the ground rules for the hearing and subject to determination on the fifth day of monday next week because you have strict timeline here which is fixated 14 days constitutional timeline within which the supreme court the apex court has to deliver and read and render a judgment the other is by the lawyer Dan Stanomari who was representing an organization that's representing people with disabilities PWDs who had decried that the IBC despite reaching out to the commission in 2021 on the facilitation of polling stations or areas for them to vote so that they can be part of those whose votes will be counted rather was dead against the proposal and the requests and the pleas by the organization the uh, preparation process ahead of the pre-trial conference tomorrow later we expect the registrar of the judiciary and amari to address the press here as to some of uh, the further information and communication from the judiciary ahead of uh, the full hearing which will be starting on wednesday and then uh, the culmination of this entire process which will be marking the final 14 day of uh, the timeline as provided for in the constitution on monday next week when the seven judges of the top court in the country will finally render their judgment as to the petition before the apex court Thank you so much Ayub Abkad Abdi Kadri let's move on to Nakuru where Azimio's candidate or rather to Kakamega first Azimio's candidate in Kakamega gubernatorial elections Fernandez Baraza has urged locals to turn out in large numbers and vote as we remain with about 55 minutes to go Brenda Wanga is in Kakamega We are indeed in Lugari constituency at a polling uh, center known as Muhomo Primary School where the polling exercise is just about 2 hours away from ending like many other the polling sessions in this uh, county of Kakamega about 1682 of them uh, will be closing at around 5 p.m. a few of them perhaps extending by 2 hours due to a few hitches here with the kimskit uh, that those hitches not on a large scale we did speak to the county returning officer who did uh, tell us that there had been a few uh, issues with the kimskit some were a bit slow uh, some issues uh, coming stemming from uh, the technical use of the kimskit he did tell us in some instances some presiding officers uh, had not really learned how to use uh, the kim's kit in the morning they open the kim's kit and close them instead of letting the exercise run through the required number of hours as per the IABC regulations but those who were replaced and uh, the voting exercise began in almost all the polling sessions across the county right on time uh, one of the main issues that has been uh, struck uh, at this uh, county uh, governors 
election, there is the issue of a, a low number of people turning out to vote. For instance, at this polling station where we are in Muhomo, uh, just about 30 minutes ago, we did a check uh, with the officials here on the Kimskit. Uh, they had indicated that there are about 620 voters registered to vote here, but uh, that about 30 minutes ago, only about 200 of them had turned up uh, to vote. That leaves a, a balance of about 400 and uh, a few 400 uh, voters who have not yet turned up to vote. Whether this situation has been replicated in many of the polling stations that we have been able to visit. We have been to five constituencies in this county that has 12 constituencies and the situation is the same. Uh, many of the candidates who are vying uh, in this governor's election just urging their voters to turn out and vote even as the hours go by and the clock ticks to 5 p.m. Thank you, Brenda Wanga. Let's uh, move our gears uh, to Nakuru County at Rongai constituency where chaos erupted at Kiamunya Secondary School polling stations in Nakuru. Uh, the incident saw Nakuru Town East Member of Parliament David Gikaria chased away by angry voters. Mary Nyamburu in Nakuru County. Well, indeed, uh, here in uh, Nakuru County, Rongai constituency, uh, which has uh, a total of 84,625 registered voters, the exercise began in earnest early morning, but now two hours or so before the polls close, we are seeing the number of uh, registered voters who've turned up uh, for this particular exercise is quite low compared to what we witnessed on August 9th. But at the moment, I'm in Visoy Ward, which has the highest number of registered voters, 20,555 uh, at the Kampi Yamoto Primary School, which has a total of three streams. So at the moment, uh, the exercise, what we are seeing is that uh, residents actually walking in, uh, doing, the, the, uh, doing the whole exercise, voting exercise. Thereafter, one or two minutes later they walk out so we're seeing this exercise is taking place at a uh, it's actually going on at a fast rate uh, given it's just one particular election that of the parliamentary election so at the moment not much activity we've seen uh, given it's now two hours we were hoping that in the course of the day the exercise would have picked up and by now would have seen more people trickling in to the different uh, polling stations 197 polling stations here in uh, Rongai constituency earlier on there were concerns uh, by the different uh, candidates here. Uh, one, Raymond Moy, uh, who is seeking to be re-elected for a third term on a Kanu ticket, was uh, alleging that the IEBC is not uh, giving the three candidates as, um, a play field, uh, a level play field. But uh, since up to now, uh, we're seeing that things have resumed back to normal. Uh, again, as well, earlier on, before uh, Raymond Moy uh, spoke to us about uh, this particular concerns, we also saw uh, David Gikaria, who's the Nakuru Town East MP, uh, who was who is a particular agent uh, uh, actually walking into one of the stations and he was whisked away. Uh, once the tallying uh, begins, the tallying process begins, we'll be giving more details as well as uh, uh, the constituency tallying center which was moved from Kirobon Secondary School to uh, the Nakuru Teachers Training uh, College. So we'll be giving more details, real-time updates as at what happens and when exactly it happens. You're up to date. You can follow us on Twitter at hot underscore 96 Kenya for real time updates. My name is Haman Kamariki. We are keeping an eye on all the bar elections or other mini elections that are ongoing in Kakamega, Nakuru and Mombasa as well as other uh, areas in Nairobi. And we shall give you those updates as we move on. See you again at 5 p.m. You have yourself a good afternoon. The Hot 96 News.